We uh, put together a forecast for the 2020 North Atlantic hurricane season and should expect an above average season. Our best guess was 15 to 24 storms, best guess at 20 named storms. A typical North Atlantic hurricane season produces around 11 storms, depending upon which data set you use for averaging. So we're talking order of twice normal based on our forecast. The much above average sea surface temperatures in the main development region and really throughout the, all the tropical oceans um, is the biggest factor that's contributing to um, this forecast of an above normal season, as well as the expectation that the phase of ENSA of sail, the El Nino Southern Oscillation will trend toward a cool neutral or even maybe a La Nina phase toward later summer and early fall peak of hurricane season. The El Nino Southern Oscillation, that refers to how relatively warm or cool sea temperatures are in the equatorial regions of the Pacific Ocean. And it also takes into account the North Atlantic Oscillation, how relatively cool or warm sea temperatures are in the North Atlantic Ocean. We just had our second named storm of the year, Tropical Storm Bertha, which made landfall on the South Carolina coast. In the last few years, we've had Storms before the official June 1st start to hurricane season in the last five or six seasons. We've had a few very damaging storms. Hurricane Michael um, in 2018, we had uh, hurricanes Irma and Maria, we had Hurricane Harvey in 2017. A lot of the storms we're seeing are much wetter, even if they aren't um, necessarily as strong in terms of wind intensity. Um, so Hurricane Harvey's an example of that. Hurricane Florence, which hit the Carolinas in 2018, is another example. Emergency management services are somewhat strained right now because they're handling the pandemic. In the past, a recommended strategy of dealing with a hurricane landfall is to evacuate someone inland from uh, the um, coast. And so that's not going to really work because a lot of those um, shelters, if you've ever been in one, are very crowded and that doesn't mix well with a um, highly contagious virus. So the recommendations that are being put out now or that people try to plan maybe to stay with family members or they must maybe um, travel some distance um, in order to do that. The line in the past had always been try to think in terms of tens of miles rather than traveling hundreds of miles. I think in general, the government should be prepared to put a lot of money toward responding to um, a hurricane landfall, but also the recovery afterwards. And that's gonna be a difficult discussion given the economic strains of the um, pandemic itself. It should remain central because, you know, it's a much, much longer term issue than the relatively short term issues of the pandemic and the economy, which will probably, you know, definitely be issues that are already being talked about. And they're important issues, but it's also important to look at our long term future and considering climate change and intelligent way in which we have both um, agency and participation are, you know, it's critical.